Hi, this is Joe here with um, a package that just came in the mail right now, just a few minutes ago. Um, this is the Rokinon 14mm 2.8 unboxing, and I'm going to give a few first impressions. So, here we go. This is some packaging. I actually got this as an add-on. It was like two bucks. I'm gonna be traveling soon, and I don't want to bring a tripod, so I'll just put this, a little small tripod, little one, one of those little mini ones. All right, here we go. Actual box. All right. I hope you can see it. This is the box right here. Nothing too special. Broken on, 14 millimeters, super wide. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So it comes with a bag, carry bag. It's a nice felt, I guess is the word, for this material. It's a nice bag. Um, I don't know, I might or not might not use this. Put this to the side. Um, you get your instruction manual. And yeah, it's pretty bare on paper, I believe. And just get it here. And now what everyone came for. Oh, wow. My god. Let's just put this right here. And yeah, that's it. It's just only a few things in there. And first thing. When I pick this up, take this out. This is really heavy. This is a really heavy lens. Right now I'm using the 50 millimeter, the Sony 50 millimeter 1.8 on the Sony A57. And the 50 millimeter is super light. And I picked this up and this is insanely heavy compared to that. This is, I don't know, this would be at least a pound. Maybe one and a half pounds right here. Maybe. I wouldn't think it's two, but somewhere around that area. Wow, and the weight, this is a, wow, super, super solidly built, all, all metal, I believe, all metal, and, okay, let's see some glass, take this one, print, wait, yeah, wow, okay, that, that works pretty good, and, there you go, wow, this, that is a huge piece of glass. That is massive. That front element is huge. Wow. The focusing right here, first thing I think is, is insanely smooth. Uh, buttery, very buttery. The aperture, uh, how did, okay, yeah, it's pretty easy to change. Uh, 2.8 to 22. Uh, this is the alpha mount. Sony DSLRs, made in Korea, not made in China, good stuff, uh, there's a little piece of something like dust or something on here, I have to take that off in a second, but wow, for, this is insane, this is, this was only, I got this for 350 and the only, the closest competitor to this I would say is, uh, the Tokina, I think it's an 11 to 16 2.8, which is I think $800. This is 350 guys. This is no, uh, there's no out of focus on this. It's a, it's not a, yeah, it's no out of focus. Uh, completely manual aperture. I do a, a lot of video, so this is gonna be really awesome to use. Uh, yeah, and I mean, it's a super wide angle at 14, at 14 millimeters, and an aperture at 2.8 not a lot's going to be in focus so i don't think manually focusing is a big problem on this uh, you could just take the picture and usually it could be in focus if you just stop down a bit but yeah wow i'm going to put this on the camera now and i'm going to try some shots with it i can't show you it on the camera because i'm using it to film but i'll post some shots 
and yeah, all right. So we'll do some. Uh, I'll do some video shots of it up close, so you guys can get a nicer look at it. But yeah, that, that's the unboxing.